I honestly don't know what I'm more scared of in this video. It's either the massive waves or the fact that this guy's computer fully turned off. I don't even know how this guy's being so calm. He's just standing there filming the whole thing. When I first saw this video, I was not expecting his lats to go out that much. This is what your physique will look like after a couple of seconds of being subscribed to Giga Chad Fitness. I don't know why, but I was kind of getting worried watching this in slow motion because I thought his foot was about to go through one of the gaps. Oh, eesh. Oh, eesh. I feel like you can experience this in most sports and when it happens, it's honestly one of the scariest experiences ever. As soon as you look back up, you know you're gonna get absolutely dominated, but it's too late to do anything about it. I guess this is how Drake motivates himself when he goes to the gym. Remember when you could eat that dog? Yeah. The juniors? <laughs> the sophomores? <laughs> The freshman? Ah! For some really small reason, I think this guy might have not wanted to pay the big bag fee. It's really funny though, because you can tell that the staff airport have never seen anything like this before. And the even better thing is that when they finally get it to fit, everyone in the airport starts cheering for them. <laughs> it should honestly be illegal to have triceps and arms this big. As a man seeing this video, I actually felt pain watching this. I don't think you guys understand how much money I would actually pay to have this cat as my pet. It's so wholesome how after the cat gets picked up, it just decides to lend the guys back. You know the person got outskilled insanely hard when after it happened, they make sure to see if anyone caught it on camera and then if they did, they beg them to delete the footage. I don't know much about bike tricks, but I think this guy might have just invented a new trick because I've never seen anyone do this before. Yeah. What the fuck? It's crazy how if either of these shots went a little bit more to the right, they would have been in the same goals. The amount of balance you need to grind down the whole rail with only one leg is mind blowing. I think we can all agree that the goal this guy scored was amazing, but the worst part about this video is that he did a knee slide on AstroTurf. Come on! Come on, son! Come on! Son! Why is this guy actually built like a female Roblox character? If you don't have any weights in your house, just use your cat or dog. It's funny that this guy's cat doesn't even care that it's being used as a weight. I honestly don't know if this guy works out his lats 24-7 or he has some insane genetics, but his lats are crazy big. If this guy really wanted to, all he has to do is start flapping his hands and then he can probably get some airtime. Even though he did this as a joke, it still must have been extremely painful. I feel like if anyone tries this who doesn't have years and years of climbing experience, they'll just really badly damage their fingers. This is what that one group of unemployed friends does on a Tuesday at 2pm. It's really funny how there's absolutely no flexibility on any of the bikes, so if the guy in the front turns left or right, everyone almost falls over. Even if this guy wasn't wearing a Red Bull helmet, you'd still 100% know he's a Red Bull athlete. As if balancing your bike on something that's extremely thin isn't hard enough, he decided to do it on something that's also extremely unstable. It's really scary that people like this are legally allowed to walk on the streets. If you've ever played football before, this has at least happened a couple of times to you and it's so embarrassing every time it does happen. It should honestly be illegal to be this shredded. Let me know in the comments if you think this guy's natural or not. For someone her age, you can't lie, it's extremely impressive that she has this much mobility. Am I the only person who's really confused how this guy just randomly turned on Minecraft creative mode? 
This guy is clearly really good at boxing and the sound it makes every time he hits the bag is way too satisfying. This is called muscle scraping and it's supposed to help with muscle recovery but it honestly looks like they just destroyed his back. Playing on an astroturf honestly feels so much better than grass in my opinion but this is the only downside. I really hope someone doesn't use this on me. When he did the first trick I was already amazed but I was not expecting him to do the second trick as well. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the most fun things you can ever do in your free time. Something about going really fast on a bike and feeling the wind hitting your face just feels amazing. This sport is called World Chase Tag and it's basically competitive tag. It's really impressive how the guy running away knows exactly when to turn and switch directions to confuse the guy chasing him the most. You know someone's cooking when we land a trick like this and this is how a crowd reacts. This guy's going so fast it honestly looks really scary. The fact that it's also extremely foggy doesn't help. We really have someone on a real Aladdin's carpet before GTA 6. Am I the only person who's really impressed how it's actually keeping him up in the air for a while? For the first few seconds, I thought it was an actual person driving this, but then I realised it's a remote controlled plane. I didn't even know they made remote controlled planes this big. You know someone's insanely strong when they're maxing out a machine with their legs crossed. It's actually really impressive that the guy who hit the ball hit it that far away from the goal. Oof. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Ryan! Ah! I'm not sure about you guys, but if more tennis matches were like this, I'd actually watch them. The best thing about this though is that I'm pretty sure the guy he was facing was thinking he was about to get a free point, but he ended up losing the point himself. Maybe I'm just a professional hater, but I think this might be one of the most goofy sports I've ever seen. I feel like people who compete in stuff like this, they don't train hard enough for MMA or other sports, so they go to a thing like this where we can compete and win easily. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Accidentally scored a point on himself, and now two points on himself by touching down on the wrong side. I'm not gonna lie, this does look really overkill, but I guess it's working. Around. Nice. This might be one of the most confusing videos I've ever watched. What would you even do if you're going on a late night walk and you just see this happen in front of you? Finally bro. Oh jeez. Even though snow season is completely over, these guys still want to go snowboarding. I bet snowboarding on grass is equally as fun as doing it on snow. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.